Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, my name is Karina and I do fashion and styling videos um, as well as some hauls and I do a couple of travel vlogs. So if you're interested in any of that, please consider subscribing. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. This is my first video of 2020. So I hope everyone had a happy new year and happy holidays. And I am going to hopefully try and get more videos out more consistently. I think I probably said that in a couple of videos back, but um, at least get one to two videos a week. So I'm working on trying to get that schedule going for myself. Uh, so hopefully I'll be putting out more content. All right, so today we're gonna do a video on, ooh, before I get any further into the video, I did wanna talk about these new necklaces that I just got from Stella and Dodd. They're so cute. So I just got them from Stella and Dodd. I have just signed up to be a stylist, so this is all new to me. I don't really know how it works but I got to pick a couple of pieces and this is one of the pieces that I picked and it is a layered necklace. It comes, this is my little A I always wear, but it comes with this little green gem like choker part, this other one that's like thicker. It has like these um, layered pieces here and this is more like a thick chain with a gold pave uh, diamond or <laughs> pave uh, stone heart and then this long dangly one that has a little like stone in the middle as well. And I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, you can take all of these off and wear them on their own, which is kind of cool. That's what I like about Stella and Daughter why I've purchased things from them is that you can wear, typically the, pr the pieces can be a little on the pricier side. They're not gonna be like Forever 21 prices, but they last obviously a long time if you take care of them correctly. And um, they can be multi-purpose, so you can wear them different in different ways. Same thing with their earrings. I did get a pair of earrings, but these are not obviously um, a multi-wear kind of thing. It's just a stud, a little heart stud. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so anyways, if you like any of these pieces, I'll link them down below. I'm really excited to um, join the Celine Dot team. Hopefully I can start selling stuff. <laughs> um, but today we're gonna talk about Oxfords. If you don't know what Oxfords are, they're these men's wear inspired shoes. I got mine from Just Fab. Just probably over a month ago and I think they were 39 so whatever the monthly fee that the monthly uh, membership fee that I pay it's $39 and I picked these shoes for um, that last month and so I've always gravitated for these shoes every time I see them I think oh they're so cute if I see them in store I try them on but I've never bit the bullet and bought them they probably come out every like fall and winter season um, of course they come in all kinds of different colors black patent um, Sometimes they have like, this part is one color, so this may be black and this may be like a fabric black or it could be gray or it could be checkered or whatever. So some of them aren't just one solid color. In other words, they're other textures or colors. And so they're really cool. I think they're really fun shoes, but um, I've just never been able to bite the bullet to buy them because I just didn't know how to wear them. And so if you're interested in how I style these, then just keep on watching. Okay, so because this shoe is a men's uh, men's wear inspired style shoe, then I naturally gravitated to what would be men's wear inspired. So I, you know, of course, went on Pinterest and I googled and I thought, well, let's see what I got in my closet that I could pair with. So what I went with is obviously a collared button up shirt is one of the first things I thought of, and luckily I owned a, a white one that I never worn that I got from H and M, and I had tons of sweaters. And then I thought, I don't know if I want to wear black because the tone of these colors is so light. It's obviously lighter than my skin tone. And because it's patent, it just comes off even brighter on the foot. And so I noticed that I didn't really like pairing it with dark bottom. I went with a color that wasn't black necessarily. So I have a pair of burgundy pants and I had a pair of, and I had a sweater that's burgundy. And I thought that kind of did a nice little monochromatic look. So it's kind of like a three, suit kind of so when you think of men's wear you kind of think of suits at least I do and so I did have pieces that kind of put together almost like a suit style so the shirt with the sweater on top and those kind of slack looking shoe, uh, pants with these really pulled a look together I really liked it I, and I think the Oxfords really pulled that look together so uh, yeah that was the first outfit I tried on all right, so I kind of kept the same concept. Um, I just changed the sweater that I wore and did more of a neutral color to kind of stay in the tone of the shoe. And then I did a uh, distressed jean, hoping that 
uh, I'm kind of dressing it down, but it's still kind of a distressed boyfriend style jeans. So again, sticking to the men's kind of inspired look. So I did the, you could do like a boyfriend jean, um, more baggier jean, something like that. I don't have a really baggy jean that I like, so I just went with the distressed jean. So I went with my distressed jean, did the same button up shirt and just changed the sweater with the Oxfords. And again, went with the top handle bag because again, it kind of reminds me of like a portfolio or what am I trying to say, a suitcase. And so yeah, that was the second look I came up with. All right, so third and final look, I really had to pull from my um, wardrobe, but I didn't have anything that I really loved. But of course I thought blazer, right? So blazer, man's, men's inspired, whatever. I have a boyfriend blazer from Old Navy, but it's black and I just didn't, I wasn't feeling the black with the light shoes, but if I had black Oxfords, I would definitely wear a black blazer and maybe the outfits that I tried on. So um, I, did, uh, I did the blazer with a shirt that um, has like a little bow tie right here. So when you think of a bow up here or here, it's kind of reminiscent of a tie. So I did a blazer with a shirt that kind of has that bow tie and then I did slacks. Would have loved that with black Oxfords, but this is what I had in my closet, so that's what I worked with. Still like the look, just would have preferred black Oxfords. Okay, so last and final look that I put together was um, a black, no, was white jeans with a similar style as that last green one, which is, again, that little tie reminiscent of, um, of a men's tie and it's a chiffon pink shirt. Now these are a little see-through, so obviously you can wear a shirt underneath. I could have gone with the white shirt, but I just didn't have one handy. So I tried it on with this pink sh sheer um, chiffon -y. is it chiffon? It's like a sheer pink shirt with the tie, the white jeans, and the Oxfords. It was not my favorite look, just because I think the shirt was maybe too dressy. Maybe if I had a, a slacks, uh, a pair of slacks in the very light cream or white color, I think I would have liked that better because it was more dressy versus casual. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made sense and it gave you some inspiration, especially if you were in the market to maybe get these shoes or you've looked at them, but you're like, ah, I don't know if I would wear them. I think you should just go for it. One of the things I really like about these shoes is that you get to play around with outfits that you normally wouldn't wear. I know I probably, I've never put any of these looks together. So if you have anything similar to this um, and you have a question or you wanna know how to pair something, I would love to help. Please leave that down below. And, and I guess I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.